It's one of the most common procedures you'll learn. We begin with the needle, vacutainer, and blood tubes. A blood pressure cuff can serve as a tourniquet to help you raise a good large vein in the antecubital fossa. Tying the tourniquet properly takes a little practice. The universal precautions for this procedure begin with gloves and careful cleansing of the skin with alcohol or betadine. Carefully remove the cap to unsheath the needle. Insert it into the yellow vacutainer and screw it into place. Then lift the needle guard and remove the cap. You'll see that the hole in the beveled edge of the needle is facing up and is in line with the needle guard. Take a shallow approach to the vein and the blood flashing back into the vacutainer confirms you're in. If you don't see the flashback, stop. In this example, we're drawing a couple of tubes for the lab. Gently oscillate the tube to mix the blood with the heparin or stabilizing agent in the tube. To switch tubes without causing the patient discomfort, you want to steady your hand against the arm. Then you can pop in the next tube without pushing the needle any deeper. And as we finish, one pull of the tourniquet, place the cotton ball above the puncture site, not directly on the needle. Withdraw the needle straight back and roll the cotton gently over the puncture, applying steady pressure. Having the patient bend at the elbow to hold the cotton in place can create unnecessary bruising. Flip the needle guard back into place, protect the puncture, and the sharp goes right into the container. <laughs>